let's combine if with and. This can create a powerful function. So what I'm going to do here is put criteria, criteria 1, criteria 2, and let's take the criteria 1 is going to be the internal rate of return uh, greater than or equal to some number. And criteria 2 is going to be the NPV greater than or equal to some number. I'm going to align those right. So let's say that I want to see if the IRR is greater than 20%. And I'm just going to make that blue. Okay, and the other thing is I want to see if the NPV is greater than or equal to 800,000. So I've got my two criteria here. The next thing that I need to do is just put a result, if true, and a result if false. So let's say the result, if true, is invest, and if false, do not invest. And I can make those blue as well, just to indicate that they're going to be included in the formula. So let's link up our formula here. Let's type equals if open bracket and open bracket the internal rate of return from the investment is greater than or equal to 20%, comma. So this is to say now, and the NPV of this investment is greater than or equal to 800,000, close bracket, comma. If both of those are true, we want to invest. If they're not both true, we do not want to invest. So we know that it's the case that we should invest because we see that the IRR is 49% and the NPV is 863,000. Now, if I was to change this so that the NPV had to be 900,000, it would tell me now, do not invest. Alternatively, if I set the hurdle rate of the IRR to be 50%, it would also show me do not invest. And again, if both of them are incorrect, all right, we can see that this is working properly because uh, we get when the when we test it, we get the results that we expect.